Hi, I'm Ainsley. Hi, I'm Stevie. Hi, I'm Diane. Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, I'm Mary. And, and together, together, we're high five! Hey everyone, and welcome to the High Five House! Yay, today's going to be so much fun because it's a beautiful day outside. <laughs> hey guys, do you feel like we're missing something? Hey, where's Stevie? Oh, oh. Stevie! Yeah, what's going on? Whoa, oh, what are you doing, Stevie? Oh, sorry guys, I've been following some cheeky little footprints out in the garden. I'm trying to find out who they belong to. Hey. I noticed those this morning when I was collecting leaves. Yeah. Well, it's such a gorgeous day outside, which is great because we're going to be playing Inside and Outside. <laughs> I can't wait to go outside today and fly my kite. <laughs> oh, hey, chats, that's a cool box. What's it for? It's a TV, of course. <laughs> oh, of course. Hey, it's great. <laughs> yep, it's a television and I'm a television weather person. <laughs> hey, that's perfect weather person chats because I need to know what the weather's like outside today so I can go and fly my kite. <laughs> Was there something else where the person chats? Yes. After the blowy wind, there will be a sudden change in the weather. The wind will become blustery and stormy. Oh, blustery and stormy? Well, I don't want to fly my kite outside in a storm. I'd better hurry before the storm arrives. <laughs> <laughs> there won't just be a storm. There'll be a cyclone. A cyclone? Wild, whirling wind? Oh, well... I guess I shouldn't go outside after all. <sighs> hey, chats, how come I can't hear any wind outside? Are you sure there's a cyclone coming? Weather person chats is never wrong. Hmm. Chats, you wouldn't be trying to stop me from flying my kite outside today, would you? Why would I do that? Just because you want to fly all by yourself without me. Oh, Chats, I would never want to fly my kite without you. We can share. Really? I'd love that. <clears throat> oh, another weather report. Hey, everyone. There has been a change in the weather. The whirling cyclone has disappeared. So today's weather is perfect for flying kites. Yay! Yeah. being lifted and rolled about by a soft, gentle breeze dancing. A leaf in the breeze has a ticket. It falls in the sky anytime, anywhere. It swirls up, it twirls down. A leaf in the breeze floats all over town. <laughs> Whoa! Strong wind now. Gusty and blowy. All of our noise. Well 
lately, and the High Five Garden's looking all green and fresh. <laughs> oh, look! This dish has filled up with water. Must have been the rain. <laughs> squawk! Squawk! Whoa! That was a loud bird. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to take this rainwater inside. I can use it to fill up a vase for my flowers. Whoopsies! That won't work. The water's going to spill out and I'm going to get wet. Hmm. Oh, well, what if I poured the water into a different container? Then it might be easier to carry inside. <laughs> Here we go. This container's quite deep. Should do the trick. Pour the water, pour it carefully. Watch it flow and change the shape. Pour the water, pour it carefully. Now what shape will the water be? Fantastic! All the water fits in this deep container and it's much easier to carry. Doesn't splosh out the sides. Now, to carry it inside. <laughs> there. Now, for the really tricky part. Have to pour the water into this small, thin vase. Pour the water, pour it carefully. Watch it flow and change the shape. just fits. The vase is full all the way up to the top. Now flowers. <laughs> oh, oops, I left them in the garden. <laughs> okay, found the flowers. Oh, what? The vase was full all the way up to the top before and now the water only comes to here. Maybe that thirsty bird flew in and had a drink. <laughs> Okay, in you go, flowers. Whoa! Did you see that? The flowers push the water up, right up to the top of the vase again. <laughs> well, what do you know? Lucky that bird flew in and had a drink. Otherwise, the water would have spilled out when I put the flowers in. Splash! And that would really make a mess. <laughs> Whoops. Tweet, tweet. Sounds good. Just the right amount of snap. <laughs> Check this out. Today I brought the outside inside and made a new musical instrument. <laughs> it's called the stomping sound ground. It's cool. You just stomp in one of these trays and it makes an interesting sound. And it's made from all sorts of things I've found in the High Five garden. There's gravel. Great crunching sound. And leaves. Oh, rustle, rustle, rustle. Snapping twigs. <laughs> and squelchy mud. Whoa. <laughs> and that is my sound ground. I think I'll make some more gravel music. When the beat is in your feet, there's just one place you got to meet. If you want to boogie down, come to my sound ground. Come to my sound ground. <laughs> hey, Ainsley. Hey. Hey, what's all this? Well, it's a new musical instrument I've made called the Stomping Sound Ground. Oh, cool. Can I join in? Sure. It'll be more fun with the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think we should try two trays at once. You take the mud and the twigs, and I'll take the gravel and the leaves. Ready? I'll count us in. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, and I could go. Ha. 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 <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? We could hear you all through the house. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're making music in our sound ground. <laughs> oh, it sounds great. Yes, but there's just one important thing missing. Mm. What's that? Ah! Oh, <laughs> <yes. laughs> I put the mark. I want the sticks, please. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready to end. When the beat is in your feet, there's just one place you got to meet When you want to boogie down, come to Ainsley Sound Ground Hunt to hunt to hunt, come to Ainsley Sound Ground <laughs> 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 Awesome, Dawn!
guys. You know, I love the sound of the great outdoors, indoors. <laughs> Oh, hey. Today I'm being Stevie, the backyard investigator, and I'm seeing what I can find in the High Five garden. Aha! Some mysterious footprints. Hmm, they look like tiny gumboot prints. Ooh, there's a whole trail of them, but I wonder who they belong to. Let's follow the footprints. <laughs> what was that noise? We must be on the trail of a mysterious creature. So much to discover, so much fun. Backyard adventure for everyone. What can we find along the way? Explore the unknown in your garden today. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. It's a coily hoses, and they like to sleep in the sun all coiled up neatly. Oh, we must be very quiet around coily because sometimes they like to spit water. <laughs> Best leave old coily alone. <laughs> There's that noise again. Strange, very strange indeed. Oh, some more footprints, and they go up over the bench. We must follow them. Here we go. Whoopsie daisy. Whoop, whoop. Very tricky balancing on the bench. But where have the footprints gone? So much to discover, so much fun. Backyard adventure for everyone. What can we find along the way? Explore the unknown in your garden today. <laughs> There's that noise again. And some more footprints. One print, two, three, four footprints, and oh, there it is. It's a gigantus gnomus. And he's, well, he's, he, he's sort of smiling at me. Oh, I know who these cheeky gumboot prints belong to. It's this very cheeky garden gnome. Oh, well, Stevie, the backyard investigator, has done it again. I might take this guy inside to show the others. Bye! Ah, stretching in the garden. I'm the tallest tree that I can be. A big, tall gum tree. Ooh. Strong wind is starting to blow. Gumtree bends from side to side. I'm in the garden, I'm stretching outside. The green grass beneath me, the blue skies up high. The birds, they are screeching, the wind blows the trees. I'm in the garden, stretching with ease. <sighs> Ooh, noisy birds in the garden. Up on tiptoes and stretch like a bird flapping in the wind. I'm in the garden, I'm stretching outside. The green grass beneath me, the blue skies up high. The birds, they are screeching, the wind blows the trees. I'm in the garden, stretching with ease. Ah, <sighs> nothing like a good stretch in the high five garden. Stay up here on the bookshelf. Meet my bookworm friends. Hello there, my name is Aristotle. And my name is Horace. Pleased to meet you. And we all live here in the Chatterbox. Speaking of boxes, what's that big box doing here? Oh yes, 
What's inside it? I don't know. Hey! Did anybody hear that? I thought I heard somebody knocking. Hello? Is anybody in there? Wow! It's a toy robot! It's a tin toy robot, to be precise. I had one like that when I was a little wormlet. Hello, tin toy robot. Beep up beep beep up. I don't think she understands. Uh, beep up beep beep up beep up. I don't think our new friend, the tin toy robot, speaks English. I think you're right. I'll try again. Hello. Oh, beep beep. Hello. Amazing. I'm Chats. My name is Chats. Hmm. Ch ch. Chats! You got it! Hello, my name is Chats And welcome to the Chatterbox Our very special home Shared with my bookworm friends Hollis! And Aristotle! And we all love to play together Hello, my name is Chats Hello, hello! Beep, beep! Hello! My name is Tinker by Tingo, she got it. Tinko, the tin toy robot. What a fabulous name. Beep up, beep up. Uh, what's Tinker doing now? Beep up, beep up. A new home. That's what Tinker is looking for. Hmm. Beep up. Oh, the washing beep up. basket. That's a bit small for your new home, Tinker. Oh. Yes, Tinker needs something bigger. <gasps> a big box. Ooh. A really big box. A box as big as the, the Chatterbox. Chatterbox. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Would you like to stay here with us, Tinker? Bibbidi bip bop bip bop. <laughs> I think that means yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>